Hey, what's up, everybody? Bro Trio here, and happy Pokemon Day! This is the day we look forward to every year, not only because we love Pokemon and celebrating that, but because the Pokemon Company likes to release a cool amount of Pokemon news on this day. So, you're probably all like hopped up and jived up on that, so if you want something else to watch this Pokemon, here are the Bro Trio's Top 10 Gen 9 Pokemon. So we're starting things off with a, a weird one, because Palafin is really weird. <laughs> because yeah. Basically, so you have Finizen, and then it evolves into Palafin, which is the exact same thing, but it has a little heart tattoo on its chest. <laughs> yeah. But if Palafin swaps out of battle and then swaps back in, it changes into its superhero form, and it's now the real evolution. <laughs> it, it's really weird. I don't it's, know. It's so it's weird. It's weird looking. It's hilarious. And it has like just crazy stats to go with it. <laughs> like it gives the superhero name a, a good like... It, it's obvious it's powerful like a superhero. It's crazy. And it's got a cool swap out water move it learns when it evolves. So that's really interesting. Like Because U-turn <laughs> is great. But it's bug type. But now we have a water type, so we get stab and can swap out. That was awesome for Palafin. Not to mention, it is the first time we got a real ass dolphin. And yeah. we got the same dolphin twice, and then a superhero <laughs> dolphin. And it's just good to finally have a real dolphin, not Gorbis or anything else that everyone's like, well, if you squint, it's kind of like a dolphin. Like, no, yeah. this is a dolphin. And we finally got it. When I was exploring, this Pokemon caught me completely off guard because I just saw this brightly colored thing walking across the mountain and I was just like, is that a balloon animal? <laughs> <laughs> and, At least you got to see it walking. It was sprinting towards me and mine. <laughs> yeah, like I found the baby version later because I explored weird apparently. But as Pathra... I wouldn't have guessed that was the baby version anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I would not have guessed that at all. Yeah, because it evolves from like a little jellyfish looking thing, and then it's like a balloon animal ostrich, and it's psychic type, which was really interesting. I did not expect that. And it was it was a really strong Pokemon. I had it for a long time in my party because I just loved it. Yeah, That's it's one of my mainstays too. Like, it's a very cool Pokemon, and like one that I typically am not that interested in psychic types. But this one got me really interested in psychic types because I like the design and it was very powerful. And the fact that ESP is front and center in its name is yeah. really funny to me. Pretty sure it's the first ostrich too. Maybe not, but first, like, like, first real deal ostrich, straight up ostrich. Yeah, there's a lot of ostrich inspired. Yeah, because like yeah. Do like Dodrio, maybe people would say is an ostrich. I wouldn't agree with that. It's a like it's just a monster. Special Zapdos is kind of ostrich like. Yeah, yeah, yeah Special Zapdos. That okay. But this one is straight up an ostrich, and it's also just really colorful and glamorous too. Wouldn't be a Gen 9 Pokemon list without some damn Paradox Pokemon. And this is the only one. Uh, we, yeah, we didn't really like, find yeah. the Paradox Pokemon too like substantially like fantastic compared to like the other like real deal new ones. Yeah, yeah I really liked the Caveman Dawn fan. Yeah, they uh, were there were a lot of like he was cool. cool ones, but yeah, none like, really stood out as much as Sandy Shocks. I don't know why, but it just uh, spoke it, to me. It has it's to be fluid. It has to it's be cool. the creepy walk. That's that's what <laughs> it, it, it honestly is. The creepy that where creepy walk, like, elongated <laughs> walk is what kind of makes me upset. I picked Violet version because I didn't get to see yeah, we, Sandy Shocks walking around down in the yeah. cave. Like we just got to see robots floating around and that was it not some magnet monster full of ferro <laughs> fluid charging and pouring itself at you like <laughs> stretching its legs further than you'd think <laughs> yeah i and just something about it like the fact that it's got like the iron filaments on like the ends of its magnets and it's like a tuft of hair like a yeah. prehistoric caveman you would see like it's it got like, a great I, vibe to it it has a tail for some reason yeah, i would have expected it to walk more like 
the fire girl from Team Star. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, bump, 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 or like something like that. But it was just like, Rock. Yeah, the magnets just stretch <laughs> like yeah, a it's weird so cartoon. It's weird, but it's so cool. I've seen the battle animations. I need to look up the walking around animations. Oh, it, it's great. <laughs> it's really kind of em like embodies the idea of Paradox Pokemon, where it's just like, this is something I know, and then it's like, I, I don't know this at all. Oh, no, it's like, <laughs> this doesn't belong here. That's the kind of Paradox <laughs> it looked like to me. Because, like, Jigglypuff, whatever, Cave Jigglypuff, it's just like a, a badass Jigglypuff. But this thing, this thing scares me. A new game always gives us a new evolution, and this one brought one that I did not expect to like as much as I did. Because Girafferig got an evolution, and Fairy Giraffe really just, I did not expect to like as much as I did, because I've, I've always kind of liked Girafferig for no reason. And this yeah. one, this time, like, he's bigger, he looks kind of scary, because he, like, turns himself inside out, oh, and, yeah. like, eats his own head, or I don't know what it it's, goes on in a, that evolution. I think it's a definite improvement on the original's design. Oh, yeah. yeah. I really and, like it a lot, um, especially the Chain Chomp head, it's really yeah. funny to me. It's weird that he didn't get a tail, like, his tail's just gone. Oh, yeah, well, his tail's his head now. Yeah. And, uh, he also, mine had the... I forget what the name is, but the special ability where, like, priority moves are nullified, so, like, that oh. came in clutch a lot for, oh. especially the ghosts, like, That's fighting cool. the ghost gym, they kept trying to do sucker punch, and it was just like, nope. That's cool and as that, hell. Yeah, it was really useful, I guess, because he's got two heads facing forward, so he, like, sees the attack coming yeah. is the basis for that decision. He sees faster, like <laughs> Captain America. Good, but I mean, That's, I've always that is a very cool ability. There's yeah. a lot of cool abilities for the newer Pokemon in this gen. And I've always been partial to Psychic type, and this was just another notch in that belt for the really cool Psychic types that I used a lot. When I first saw Quagsire, all I said to myself was like, "This will never be on my team. <laughs> I barely want to catch it." You are not as good as Wooper. How dare you stand where he once stood. But, f Claude Sire? Are you kidding me? I love <laughs> Claude Sire. He's a big, dopey, f***ing fat gecko or something. And he's awesome. He was my party tank. Anytime, except if it was a specific weakness of his, anytime that there was something bad going on for it, for my party, I'd bring, out, um, I'd bring out Claude Sire and he would handle the shit. Because <laughs> nothing could kill him, at least at first. Like, later on, specific weaknesses would get him. And he also has a cool ability. I forget what it's called, but when he gets attacked with a water-type uh, attack, he absorbs it into his body and it heals him. Oh, it's cool. It's awesome. That's so really cool. That he's ground-type. Completely yeah. negates a weakness of his. That's another reason I love him so much. He had bonkers HP, really good defense, and... I, I don't really like poison type that much, but I have been lately because they've been mixing them with types <laughs> that I like too. So ground and poison is a damn good type, and he's got a cool ability, and he's a fat ass gecko, and I love him so much. New gen means new starters, and it wouldn't be a bro trio list without some great starters on it because. Most of the starters are generally great, like they typically go above and beyond for these character designs because this is typically the Pokemon you're going to have with you from start to finish. Um, some, some of the character designs for like the past few games haven't been that spectacular. Poor Aaron yeah. balked his, his starter for like the past <laughs> five games. But he's not the entry here. Poor, poor Quaxwell or whatever his name is didn't uh, make the list. Didn't quite. But, yeah. Sprigatito didn't either because the <laughs> middle evolution Floragato is, in my opinion, one of the best of that entire family. Because Meowskarata is very cool, but kind of like in that uncanny valley type arena yeah. where it's just like, okay, this cat is taller than me and looks more like a person it than is, I do. This it's, cat it's of weird. manners is man a cat. I don't know where yeah, the man <laughs> starts and the cat ends. But Florigato is awesome. It's like, in my opinion, one of the like the perfect Pokemon size because it's like three feet tall or something. It comes up to like your hip. It's just this cool like bobcat looking thing that's standing up. Yeah. Is it on all fours? No. Damn. 
I wish he had stayed quadrupedal, but he's on all fours, but he's got a yo-yo now, and yeah. I don't know why, but that shit is so cool to me. He just has, like, a little corsage in his, like, neck fur leaves, <laughs> and he pulls it out, and it's a yo-yo. Anytime he attacks, he yo-yos, and Hell yeah. it's a Sorry really cool it. touch. Um, I really liked, that was the saving grace of, what was the Sobble evolution last, last oh, gen? Uh, Dumb's Sobble, the yeah. middle edgy. Drizzle. Dr Drizzle. Drizzle. That's it, the dumb one. But he threw water balloons, and I thought that was a really cool animation, yeah. it's the only good thing I had to say about him. But Florigato has a great design, it's honestly one of the best middle stages I've ever seen, because yeah. it's... You can tell it came from Sp Sprigatito, and once you see Meowskarata, you can tell it was going to that. It's a very well, like, well-designed bridge evolution, and one of my favorite middle evolutions of all time. Well, next starter on the list is the best starter on the list. We're talking about my boy Fukoko. I like Skeledurge a lot, but he looks a lot like Bozo the Clown, but an alligator. <laughs> And that kind of kills it a little for me. And his type's cool, but we just had a fire ghost with Arceus, so that kind of brought down his typing a little in hype for me. Still badass, but I, yeah. I like Fukoko the best. The middle one, we don't talk about that one. I <laughs> forgot his name, Crocomire, something like that. That's a boss from Metroid, but I mean, I mean it's close enough. It's just f him. I, he's got <laughs> a stupid hat. And he just looks like yes. a bigger, ugly Fukoko. And Fukoko went the opposite. He looks like a Fukoko just with back problems. Like yeah. <laughs> Fukoko went the opposite way as Frigatito, though. He started a bipedal, and then mm -hmm. there's all fours at the end, so that's kind of weird. But Fukoko is awesome. It's a tanky fire type, and that's kind of rare for a starter. And he's just this happy little pepper-looking idiot, and he looks like a little, <laughs> little crocodile, and... He just cracks me up. Just his stupid grin. It cracks me up. He gets hit with something. He's just like... It's hilarious. <laughs> He's, his positive attitude and... Fucking burning everything is why I put it. Why, why. Even if I didn't choose fire every time, I would have picked Fukoko. His design is excellent. And he he's just this happy little idiot that I love so much. <laughs> This is probably the most polarizing Pokemon design that the Bro Trio has had yeah. to deal with in quite a while. Because Garganical I think is it's... the number three Pokemon of Gen 9. Yeah, I think the design's bad. I and don't like Scotty it. Scotty can suck it. Yeah, yeah I don't like it. Both of us liked it. I <laughs> really... I didn't at first, honestly. Uh, I hated it. I, was I didn't like, at first, yeah. What the hell is this? But it's a big ass, like, salt Gundam. I mean, <laughs> yeah. what is not to like? Oh, and and him like, being rock type, I didn't like too much either, because I don't like I rock don't, types. So, rock type, I don't really care for too much, but god damn it, salt cure is the best move in oh Pokemon my god. history. That is a damn good attack. Salt and, Cure literally won half of the battles for me. Yeah, so basically, <laughs> if you haven't played it yet, Salt Cure is a rock type move. I think it does like 40 damage, so it's not that strong, but it does like continual damage. It's like infestation where it's not like a status effect, it just keeps happening. 40 damage yeah. per turn? I don't know if it's per turn. But okay. <laughs> the special thing about it is it does extra damage to water and steel types, mm -hmm. both of which are rock types' weakness. I so forgot. that's cool. Yeah, not so only every recurring hit is still super effective. Yeah, and it, God, <laughs> I did it against Iron Treads, who is steel type. So it took down like half of his health with oh, like yeah. one hit. I had to refight Steel Treads because I killed it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he, he was a, like, Garganical's a great Pokemon. I loved him a lot, but 90% of that love is from this signature move, Salt Cure. Like, I really like Garganical, too. He's got a really cool, like, cry where, like, I haven't heard anything like it where his yeah. cry is just rocks falling in, like, a, a noise form. I don't know <laughs> yeah. how to explain it, but he just, it, I'll play it here. But, yeah, 
That is just rocks falling, but it sounds like a noise that a rock man yeah. Gundam would make. And that's and I, why I love Gargantic. I love some of his attack animations too, when he just like raises his hands up and he just raises just like, his hands up hey, and he's just like I like that he appeared in the new Breath of the or the new uh, Tears of the Kingdom train. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's in, there, he's he's in there. Zelda. Link's gonna kill him. <laughs> But yeah, Gargantical was ever since the the lowly Knackley in the in the cliffside valley. Like he has been on my team throughout the cliffside up to area zero. Gargantical was a mainstay on my team to the point like he was second place. Like I had Meowskarata and then Gargantical right after him, and. His name is a salt pun yeah. all the way throughout his evolution. Because what what is it? N N N L uh, sodium chloride. Yeah, N A C L. N A C L yeah. is sodium chloride, which is <laughs> table salt, and that is in all of their names: Garganical, Nackley, and Nacklestack. All yeah. have the N A C L, <laughs> and it's great. I couldn't remember what the second one was. <laughs> So, Scotty can be oh. salty all he wants, but Bar Garganical is number three on the Road Trio list. If there's one thing that sounds more weird than cool, it's Land Whale. And I don't know why. I, I think it sounds but, pretty badass. I don't know. So, like, I liked Satotl a lot when I first came across it. I, I loved Satitan Since from the trailer. Like, the first glimpse I saw of that weird-ass mouth, I was just like, that thing is awesome. <laughs> you know, and this is so weird. Three and two are a rock type and an ice type, and I don't think any of us like those types that no, much. No, we, we like, don't. Awesome. Normally, no. And but, normally, the Bro and, Trio ranks everything by, like, design over most stuff. Like, game usability and stuff kind of comes second to design. Yeah. But sometimes, my god, like the design fits and the game usability fits too. Because the Titan, I don't know if Ice type just, it's a bad type, but I don't know if it just gets worse whenever you add a secondary type to it. But I don't Titan know. being pure Ice type, it was not bad at all. They, Titan, must have, they probably made it more tanky or something. Probably, because like the Titan was. Ice types, because Ice type seems so fragile. If I didn't have Garganical, he would have been my tank. Yeah. Because the Titan just. I don't know what was going on with him because you got a, a, normally pure ice is not that good, but I loved him so much. And you give him a bunch of like weight based moves, like a body slam and stuff, and he's just killing everything. He's got and, a whale <laughs> of an HP bar. Ugh. That's a that's a thing. <laughs> so Titan also gets a signature move called Ice Spinner. Because he yeah. can destroy terrain by spinning around like an icicle top. And terrain was a big thing they were pushing in these games. Like everything had terrain moves. Horidon and Miraidon can do terrain moves just from existing. And yeah. so Titan can just cancel that yeah, shit out. So Titan is a rare marriage of a weird cool concept, a weird cool design, and a weird cool usability that just yeah. all forms this amazing ice whale that can shred terrain with ice and hate. <laughs> so, for you, those that don't know the way we do our list, we each three come up with a list of 15, take that average of points that every entry gets and make the top 10 out of it. And that's why some of them get a little weird. <laughs> this one got a little weird with the number one, but I think we all three liked it. It's from on the my team. It yeah, was on my team the whole why. time. And the design is great. The The call is okay. It's just a bark, but it's Dachshund. I love the name. <laughs> it's a good pun. And he's a good dog. Yeah, and I I, love, I, I love. personally liked Fido more, but I also liked Dachshund. I liked Fido, but <laughs> I, I liked Fido because it looks like I would want to touch it, but I wouldn't. Oh well, yeah, you'd get stuck to him. <laughs> Fido looks he looks like, like one of those weird, like, wet does, like, whenever you're, like, 
letting yeast yeah, rise for like pizza Fido, or something. Like Fido, looks, I imagine he feels like a warm pretzel. He's probably greasy. <laughs> <laughs> no, he feels like a warm pretzel before it's baked. And Doxman looks like a pretzel after it's baked. Yeah, and he's yeah, got... Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Doxman, I Doxman yeah. has the pretzel back. He's got, like, the eclair ears. <laughs> it's just a smorgasbord of anything Dude, bread-based. Out of all my Pokemon, I think that one... Yeah, I think he died the least. Like Doxman, Doxman was like yeah, one of my he heavy hitters tough. physically. He was tough and he hit hard. I gave him a lot of bite attacks that weren't necessarily great for him, but I wanted him to have a bite because that's a dog, <laughs> baby. And, yeah, uh, there should have been a fairy bite introduced for Doxman yeah, because yeah. he's pure fairy type and he's got a really cool ability. Oh, he is a Hound Doom's worst nightmare. It doesn't trigger like, that often. Like, I, I was in the school final battle tournament before it triggered once for me. Oh, but it's really cool. You never got hit with a fire attack with Doxman before No! That. <laughs> That's weird. But, it, overbaked, well-baked body or whatever well it is. Baked. If he gets hit by fire, his defense then rises because <laughs> that bread is hard now. Do, and doesn't it just not affect him? Yeah, he doesn't get hurt yeah, at all. He just hurt gets buffed. Yeah. Doesn't get hurt by fire and gets buffed by fire. That's why he said he's Hound Doom's worst nightmare. Oh yeah. He will decimate that Doberman. Yeah, and Doxman was... It's just such a cool design to me. Like, it's very simple, but I never would have thought it's of a, that. Uh, it's a pretzel dog. Why would you have thought of that? <laughs> <laughs> but it's just one of those things where I immediately saw Fido, and I was like, I have to have this. And then it evolved, and I was like, I somehow like this more than Fido. And I didn't think that was possible, because <laughs> Fido was like... I, Dashman, I'm pretty sure, is my favorite dog Pokemon. Like, yeah, Houndoom yeah, is probably, probably second, but Dashman... It's like Dashman and Arcanine and Houndoom are all three up there now. I, I really like them all. My problem... Yeah, I wish yeah. Fido would have taken the spot if he walked like that. I think it was from Tom and Jerry or some shit where they had that baby <laughs> bulldog that, like, swapped its head and its ass around and just kind of blobbed around everywhere. <laughs> That's how Fido should have walked, just like sloshing around everywhere. Oh, oh god. god! But Doxman took the cake because he's a good dog. That's also a pretzel, and he might be cake. He might be cake. Yeah. But that is gonna wrap up our list of top ten Gen Nine Pokemon. Now there are the naysayers of this generation, but you can't listen to them. You gotta listen to the positives. And <laughs> that being said, <laughs> positives are over. Our next video about Gen 9 will be negative. <laughs> yeah, it's the top, top 10 worst Gen 9 Pokemon. <laughs> we are kicking it off. It's going not... backwards from Gen 9 all the way down to Gen 1 with our top 10 worst Pokemon coming sometime in the future. So if you want to hear us bitch about Pokemon who we don't really like, some we straight up hate, stay tuned <laughs> yeah. for that. And stay tuned to Bro Trio for more content about Pokemon and everything else you might like. What the f is Gorbis? The, the, the pink long thing pink fish the, evolves with a deep sea tooth from clam pearl. It's got like a dolphin looking nose. Okay, I'll look it up later. It sucks oh. out po it, Pokemon innards through its tube. Jesus. Alright. You know, Huntail? No. <laughs> I don't catch them all. I play the story mostly and then I'm good. I've always kind of liked Girafferig, and I don't know why, but then it evolved into Farigaruf, and... <laughs> don't think that's how it's pronounced. It's not... Farigaruf. Farigaruf? I don't know how it's pronounced. Star Farigaruf? Whatever you... <laughs> Farig Farigaruf? Farig how'd, you, how'd you say it? I don't remember. You just kind of vomited all the letters out at once. Farigaruf. <laughs> A new game always gives us a new evolution, and this one brought one that I did not expect to like as much as I did. <laughs> Damn, I almost said it wrong again.